Hi and welcome to uh, the Computer Lab's uh, YouTube channel and this is just a quick video on um, how to uh, connect and set up your Blue Yeti mic on your Mac. Uh, I was currently just uh, recording a, another video um, and I was having a problem with my um, Blue Yeti mic and I couldn't just suss out what it was in the settings uh, as it happens it's a lead issue uh, but I thought I'd just do a quick video on setting it up and how to uh, just check for any issues um, and input volume etc. So first thing you need to do just to check to see if first if your microphone is recognized is go into uh, system preferences so down into the dock at the bottom here click on your system preferences icon and then once you're in the system preferences menu then need to go to the sound icon, click on that. Uh, depending on which tab is highlighted here, it's currently set on the output. Uh, you need to go to your input, because that's what you're doing, you're inputting the sound for the microphone. And you'll notice straight away that it just shows internal microphone. Uh, obviously I'm recording at the moment, so that's why the input level is going up and down. And I can change this here uh, to adjust the um, input going into the uh, Mac. But uh, as you'll notice, uh, if you look in the small video in the top right hand corner, um, I am currently connected at uh, these two USB leads, this black one here and this white one, both connected to the Mac uh, on the back. Um, and the black one is currently connected to the underside of the um, uh, Yeti microphone, but it's not actually being listed uh, in the inputs, so there's something wrong. Um, I think there's a fault with the GoPro lead because it has worked before with this. I don't think it's an issue with which version the lead this is. Um, so if I just unplug this one and plug the white one in, and if everything's okay, you should see it pop up in the uh, input list. So straight away, we have the Yeti stereo microphone being registered by the Mac uh, in the settings. I'm not going to change it over to this one because it'll uh, obviously stop recording for me uh, and swap over to the Yeti and the sound will go uh, strange. So in here you can change the input volume, um, pretty much a bit similar to gain uh, on the back of the Yeti microphone. Um, and also you can change the output volume. While we're in this menu you can just check the output um, side of it. So if you click on output you'll notice in here that the Yeti stereo microphone is listed. Uh, and all this is for is if you want to uh, output the sound that you're sending into the machine out of um, like a pass through on your bottom of your microphone and you'll notice a little headphone jack which is here and uh, this headphone jack there will um, if I just zoom in you'll be able to see it better but um, you see the little headphone jack uh, connect to that that will output on here as long as it's selected if, obviously if I select internal speakers that's where the sound will come from um, or the Yeti stereo is handy if you're recording and you want to see yourself back uh, and just obviously when you're editing and stuff like that. Okay, so I hope this video was um, helpful. If you can uh, give us a thumbs up below if it was or any comments, always appreciated. Uh, and also if you can subscribe, it will be uh, really helpful. Uh, thank you very much for watching and if there's any of the videos on the right that have, uh, of any interest, please click on them and um, have a look at our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.